all I wanted to look at. It's been many Good evening, Felicia. Oh, hi, Michael. It's been a while I saw you. I thought you traveled out of the country. <laughs> Are you mocking me? You know I haven't gotten to that stage yet, although it is possible. Yes, now. It is very possible. Very soon, you'll be better than this, and you will brag about leaving the country. Amen. So how have you been? And yes, I traveled to the village. I got back some days ago. I knew it. I remember when you used to come here almost every day to check on Deborah, forgotten that she doesn't live here with me. You are funny and I am still here to check on her. The thing is that she has not been picking my calls and I am worried. You are worried about what? Of course, she is fine. Maybe the reason why she doesn't want to pick is because of her mother. You know her mother is very protective. I miss her so much. I just want to see her and talk to her. She doesn't even reply messages. I don't know why she's treating me this way. When would you like to see her? Even if it is now, I don't mind. Now? No, it won't be possible. You can see her tomorrow. I can send her a message and beg her to pick your calls. I will be so happy if you can do that for me. I will help out. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Good evening, mom. I hope you had a safe trip. Josie, why are you back by this time of the night? Is this the time you come back from work? It is not yet night. This is just 6 in the evening. Besides, this is the normal time I close from work every Wednesday. I have been waiting here for hours. Didn't you see my calls? I kept calling to know when you will come back. Didn't my wife tell you when I come back? By the way, where is she? She didn't go to work today. What business do I have with your wife? That rude and arrogant woman. I do not have any business with her. Mom, it is Lovett I'm talking about. I'm not talking about any other person. Lovett is not rude. You have always liked her. Well, not anymore. That woman is rude and pompous. I do not have anything to do with her. What did she say to you? Lovett has always been a good girl. If she says something to annoy you, I'm sure it is not on purpose. So now you are defending her and calling your mother a liar. There is no problem about that. Of course not, mom. Okay, I'm saying sorry on her behalf. You look so angry. Maybe you should come inside and have some rest. Johnson, I will not rest until you both tell me what is delaying children from coming into this family. Oh my god, not again. Mom, please, I just got back from work and I am so exhausted. We will do this later. Hi, Cynthia. You finally came to see me. You know you disappointed me two days ago. We planned on having drinks in my house, but it didn't show up. Hey, yeah, you must be so angry at me right now. But I'm sorry, it wasn't intentional. It's okay. I just wish you could have told me that you wouldn't make it that day. I had to cancel an important appointment just to stay at home. My mother-in-law came around, so I had to be at home in case she needed anything. You are married? Yes, I am married. I've been married for two years now. I thought I mentioned it the first time we met. No, you didn't. Wow, that is so good to know. As for me, I am not yet married, but I have been in a relationship with my man for four years now. Four years? That is a long time. Is it that you both are not ready for marriage or what? I mean, by now you should be settling down. No offense though. Yeah, I understand your point. The thing is that he's not yet ready. He needs more time, maybe a year or two. If you do the right thing, if you give him two more years, that means you both will be in a relationship for six years. Exactly! I love him, so I will continue waiting for him. One year is not too long. It is better than being single. Okay then, so are you from this city? No, not at all. But I have been here for a very long time. So what would you like to drink? I have so many different types of alcohol in my fridge. I think I prefer juice. Just get me juice. Okay. You know you shouldn't come here. My mom can be back anytime for now. I don't want trouble. So you mean you don't want trouble? What can your mom possibly do to me? Is she going to kill me or what? She will not kill you, but I will be the one to suffer it. She will lock me in my room again for days without water nor food. Jesus, why would your mother do such thing to you? Just imagine the way she's treating a grown adult like you. There is nothing like grown adults in my mom's dictionary. She leaves every child she be trained in a hard way and that is what she's doing. Don't you think it is time for you to stand up for yourself and end all those tortures? I can never do that. She is my mother and no matter what she does to me, I will always love her. I cannot challenge her for any reason. Then she will continue doing this. You will always be locked up with her food nor water. Then I will stop doing things to provoke her. Do you think she would lock me up if I do the right thing? We are even defending her. That is why I want you to go. She will not be happy if she comes home and sees you here. I don't want anything that will make her get angry again. 
It's okay, I will leave. But please try and pick Michael's score. He has been disturbing me to make him see you. What will I see him for? Why not pick his score so you can see him and ask him what he wants? Okay then, I will see him one of these days. Okay, take care then. Good morning, mom. Tell me one thing that is good about this morning, Johnson. So you want to tell me you slept well, right? Yes, mom. I slept well. I prayed with my wife and we had a peaceful sleep all through the night. Why am I the only one worried about your childlessness? You know you are my only son. Why are you so relaxed about this whole situation? Mom, we are not God. You keep talking about this one thing all the time. I've already told you we don't give children. Let's give it to God. Okay then, no problem. When Lovette wakes up, I will take her to somewhere so she can run some tests on herself. That is really not necessary, mom. You are not left out. After running some tests on her and I see the result that she is alright, then I will run some tests on you too to confirm if you are okay. I will say it again. That is not necessary. It is very necessary. How could the both of you be so relaxed? There is nothing wrong in both of you going for checkup. If the result shows you are okay, then I will leave everything to God. Mom, please don't do this. I should not do what? I will be taken out to the hospital. I'm not in little doctor's place, so don't be scared. I want to tell you something, but I don't want Lovet to hear about it. Let me take you out. I am ready. I am surprised that this kind of place is open by this time of the morning. Yes, they are always so serious with their business. That is one thing I love about them. So now, tell me what you wanted to say. You said you didn't want Lovet to hear about it, so tell me. Mom, now I'm scared to tell you. I made a promise to myself not to let anyone else hear about it. But with the way you nag every day, you want me to break my promise. I don't nag. I am only worried as a concerned mother. Oh God, I don't want to make a mistake I will regret. Mom, can we just forget about this whole thing? If we forget about it, then we have to head to the hospital as soon as Lovette is awake. I just want to know if the both of you are okay. Hmm, the problem is that Lovette does not have a womb. What kind of nonsense are you saying? How can she not have a womb? Maybe she just have a little problem that prevents her from taking in. Not at all. I found out about it when we were planning our wedding the first time and that was why I cancelled our wedding. Johnson, how could you? How could you keep something like this away from me for so long? There was no need telling you. I already knew her back then before I started having dreams that she's my soulmate. She was a prostitute when I met her but she repented after I preached to her. This must be a dream. Lovette was a prostitute and she doesn't have a womb. How can one be so unfortunate? Mom, I am not saying this for you to shame her with it. The reason why I am saying this is because I want you to stop worrying Lovette about giving you a grandchild. Okay. Promise me she will not hear about this. I promise. Michael, what did you say is your problem? Why can't you allow me to rest? What do you want from me? Calm down, please. I am sorry for always bothering you. It's just that I have something to discuss with you. Now, I am here. Go ahead with what you want to discuss. And please, I will not spend much time. It will not take much time. And I was thinking you would follow me to where I will buy you good food and make you happy. I am not interested in your good food. I eat good food always. Do say what you want to say. Let me leave this place. I can't see it here. This is not the right place to see this. I promise to bring you back home. How many times will I tell you I can't go out with you? Please, my mother is at home. I need to hurry back before she finds me. Deborah, please don't go. Ever since you gave me your phone number, you rarely pick my calls and you are always giving excuses. See, I don't go out like that. My mother doesn't let me leave the house like that. I told her I want to throw the refuse bin away from the garage. That was the only time she said I should leave. So as it stands now, she knows you want to throw the refuse away? Yes. If she knows I came out to see a man, she will roast me alive. Hmm. So when do you think she will leave the house so you can hang out with me? I don't know, but don't call me often again. I don't want her to suspect anything. Okay, just text me when you will be free. Okay. Deborah, where are you coming from? I... I... I went to throw the refuse away. Sorry, I didn't mean to stay long. How dare you look at me in the face and lie to me? Are you out of your mind? Mom, what are you talking about? I went to throw the refuse away. I am not lying to you. I may not repeat myself after this. Where did you leave this house to, Deborah? I... I went to see my girl. You left my house to see Mikey. Who is Mikey? What kind of relationship do you have with him? I am sorry. Michael is just my friend. I do not have any intimate relationship with him. He only said he wants to tell me something. Do you think I didn't see you? I heard when you answered his call and told him to wait some miles away from the house. Then you came out here to lie to me. You were going to throw away the refuse. I am sorry. I had to follow you to know if truly you were going to see a man. Then I saw the both of you standing together. 
I am sorry, I didn't mean to lie to you. He has been disturbing to see me. I just wanted to know why he was always calling. Get on your news. Mommy, please, I will not do it again. I will never see a man in this life again. The next time you try this nonsense with me, I swear you will regret being my daughter. Lovet, what are you still doing on the bed at this time? Is this how you do when I am not around? Good morning, mom. How was your night? I hope you slept well. Shut up your mouth. What is good about this morning? I asked you a question and you are telling me good morning. What was your question? Why are you still on the bed at this time? You couldn't even wake up to prepare my son for work. I wanted to get up and help him, but he told me not to bother. Johnson does this most times because he wants me to have some rest. Have some rest for what? What exactly did you do to deserve rest? It's not like you have ever been to the labor room. So what do you need rest for? Please, mom, it is too early to start talking about your child. Don't worry, I'll get up now and I'll make something for you to eat. Just look at her. I don't even know why my son brought his fellow man into this house in the name of a wife. I can see you're not in a good mood this morning. I'll just get you a glass of water. I don't blame you. I don't even know what my son sees in you. You are just lazy in everything. I am sure you are also lazy in bed. What would you like to eat this morning? I don't mind preparing it for you. Maybe it will calm your anger. Go away with your food. You are not woman enough. You know my son is an only child, yet you decided to marry him and ruin his life. Justin and I love each other so much. You can't blame us for being together. We are destined to be together. I will break that destiny myself. Nonsense. Charles! My love, are you done cooking? I'm really hungry. I've been waiting here for you. Charles, who has those shoes under your bed? Those red color shoes? What red color shoes? There are no other shoes in that room apart from my own. So which one are you talking about? Don't play with me, Charles. Why are you trying to pretend not to know what I'm talking about? I saw female shoes under your bed. Baby, calm down. You don't have to be so angry. Allow me to explain who has them. What stupid explanation do you have? Last time I came here, I saw a lipstick on your dressing table. Till now, you haven't told me who owns them. You get angry easily and that's one thing I don't like about you. I'm telling you to calm down and let me explain. Okay then, I'm listening. Those shoes you saw on that day are my cousins. She came here to pay me a visit but she forgot her shoes. What kind of lie is that? I will not be surprised if that lady is still in this house. Tell her to continue hiding because if I see her, hmm, hmm, if I should see her shadow in this house, she will not like me. Don't say that, honey. I know you are not a violent type. We have been dating for four years now, yet you keep disrespecting me all the time. You have cheated several times and brought different women to this house. Is that what will happen when we get married? You're just being paranoid. Calm down. I have explained to you already. Those shoes belong to my cousin. Whatever. Good evening, my love. Good evening, dear. Wow, it is such a surprise to see you in my office today. You know you rarely come here. I was just bored at home, so I decided to come and check on my husband. That is so thoughtful of you, my dear. I was weak, but now that I have seen your face, I feel a lot better. Is your break time already over? I want to take you out. Oh no, you came at the wrong time. Our break was about two hours ago. I'm still full. How about you come back tomorrow so we can have lunch? Okay, dear. How about my mom? How is she doing? I hope she has not caused you any trouble. Babe, it is not easy at all. Your mother is making the house a living hell for me. I don't even know what I have done wrong to her. What did she say this time around? You already know the usual thing she says. And that's how she woke me up this early morning only to rain insult on me. I don't know why she hates me so much. Did you reply her back? No, I didn't. Okay, my dear. I'm asking because she might use it against you and start telling people you insulted her. I can never insult her because I wouldn't do such to my mother. I see her as my mother too. Please just endure for the meantime. Very soon she will leave and will be peaceful again. Okay then, since your break is over, I have to go now so you can concentrate. Okay dear. Good evening ma. Good evening Felicia. If you are here to see Deborah, you can come back some other time. She is having a siesta. No problem ma. I can wait for her to wake up. I have nothing doing at home, so I would like to spend some time here. I just told you Deborah can't join you. She is sleeping in her room. Come back next time. Okay ma, but I don't mind waiting. It's been a while I set my eyes on her. I will wait for her to wake up. Unfortunately, even if she wakes up, you will not see her because she is grounded. She is grounded again? What has she done this time around? Are you not tired of always locking her inside her room? And what business of yours is it? Do you want to lecture me on how to treat my daughter? It's not like that, Ma. But I think you are doing it too much. Deborah is an adult. Even though you want to correct her, it must not be this way. Get out of my house! Sincerely speaking, there has to be someone to tell you this. You are doing the wrong thing. Do not treat her as an animal. 
One more word from you, I will give you a resounding slap that will reset your brain. I am not Deborah, and you cannot do that to me. How could you lock an adult in a room without food nor water? I'm sure you gave her to the man that came looking for her the other day. I never liked you, and I never will. You are very wrong, ma. Please stop treating her that way. My son, how was work today? Work was fine, thank you, mom. How was your day? I know it's not been easy at home, alone. It's not easy at all. No child to play with, nobody to shout on, no child to scatter the house and force you to arrange it. I only asked about your day. I am used to staying alone at home. I am happy to see you at home. I didn't know when you left for work this morning. So you had to embarrass my wife because she couldn't wake up early. That wasn't nice, mom. What do you mean? So Lover reported me to you? Is that what it is now? No, not at all. She did not report you to me. She only said you woke her up in the morning, else she would still be sleeping. So Lovette had to rush down to your office to report me? This girl is biting more than she can chew. Mom, why are you doing this? This house used to be very peaceful. Why are you trying to make it a warfare? Why can't you leave her alone? Leave her alone for what? What is her duty in this house? Is it not only to eat and patrol as the madam of the house? Yes, she's the madam of the house. Please allow her to patrol. Let us be happy again like before. I don't like the energy you are bringing. So Johnson, you are siding your wife over me, Abby? I am sure dad would have done same if his own mother did this to you. All I want is peace. I can see you have been bewitched. Trust me, I will break that curse on you. Nonsense. I have run out from some provisions in this house. I will be going for shopping soon. Shopping again? But you went for shopping a few days ago and you got everything in bulk. How come you want to shop again so soon? My dear, you will not understand. It must be a for you to buy provisions often. It is okay to like food as long as you can afford it. Well, it's not just me. My man came here and packed all my provisions. I have just little left. Your mom packed your provisions. Why didn't you go for shopping? It would have saved you the stress of going for another one. Mm, well, I really do not mind shopping. It is not stressful for me. I love shopping. That's why I always look forward to it. Girl, as for me, I don't like shopping at all. I am always tired of it. In fact, my husband does the shopping most of the time. You and your husband seem really close. I adore you guys' relationship. Thank you, my dear. You have no idea what it means to have that man in my life. Oh, that's so cute. Swears. Anytime I pray to God, I always pray that God keeps him alive for me. I know what I would do without him. He'll be alive. So when can I come and pay you guys a visit? Or oh, you guys don't accept visitors? Of course we do. My husband does not have a problem with who I make friends with. Only problem is my mother-in-law. Your mother-in-law stays with both of you. No, she doesn't. She only came to pay us a visit. Oh, okay. I'll come when she goes back. Okay, dear. Thank you, mom, for letting me out. I promise not to see him again. How is it? I want to have a word with you. Thank you. I have been inside for days now. I feel so happy to be out again. I would never think of always punishing you this way. But you always push me to the wall. Yes, mom, I know. I am also trying my best to be perfect for you. I didn't mean to lie to you that day. If you always do the right thing, then why would I even think of locking you inside? I would never do such. It's okay, mom. What matters is that I am out now. I have already promised to be of good behavior. I just hope you keep to your word this time. I will. Just because of you, Felicia insulted me in a way I'm still shocked to see now. What have you been telling Felicia about me? God forbid, I have not been telling her anything. I am innocent. I don't even know what she said to you. I want you to cut her ties with that girl. I don't like her. I've always been telling you I don't like her. But mom, she is the only friend I have. I don't have anybody else. Do you want to disrespect and disobey me again? No, never. I will cut ties with her. So Lovette, it has gotten to the point where you now discuss me with my son. Mom, what are you talking about? Shut up your mouth, you barren woman. How dare you report me to my son? Are you crazy? Please, ma, with due respect, I am not ready for any trouble today. Please, I am begging you in the name of God, allow me to be. Do not let me forget my hand on your face. Do you know who you are talking to? You have the guts to report me to him. I'm sorry about that. I didn't really go there to report to him. I went there to have lunch with him. Just look at her, a prostitute that has no shame. Just look at this thing my son brought here to give a life. What did you call me? Are you not a prostitute? Didn't you sleep with men for money? Do you have a womb? You are nothing but a man. I hate you, love it. Johnson told you about this. Why won't he tell me? Do you want my son to die in silence? Your time will soon be up in this house. This is unbelievable. Johnson told you about my past. What for exactly? 
Because he needs help from a Jezebel like you. You think your love potion will be built forever. It's so clear from his eyes. Nonsense. <laughs>